Scooby-Doo is one of the longest-running cartoon franchises of all time, turning 53 years old next month. For anyone who never watched it growing up, my condolences. But for a little background, the series consists of four meddling teenagers and their mangy dog who travel the country solving mysteries. Every episode involves a seemingly supernatural creature terrorizing an abandoned business, such as a fairground or factory, with the ending revealing that the monster was actually just a local old man in a costume trying to scare people off for profit. Hey, it was the 70s. The formula has proved to be a success for over half a century now. That's just a cartoon, right? Nothing like that would ever happen in the real world. Well, in 1926, in North Stonington, Connecticut, local papers covered a story with a final twist, even more bizarre than anything handled by Mystery Incorporated. Saturday, April 3rd, 1926, North Stonington, Connecticut. The Syracuse Herald runs this headline. Bullets await ape man who attempts to scare girls in a sale of farm. The story stated that following the death of local farmer Horace Minor, his two daughters, Muriel and Mildred Minor, as well as their neighbors, had begun seeing what they could only describe as a monster in the area. The word Bigfoot wouldn't really come about until over 30 years later, so the creature was referred to only as an ape man. They said that the entity was seemingly more agile than any human being, but no one really seemed to believe that it was the genuine article. They checked local zoos and prisons to see if it was maybe an escaped animal or an escaped convict, but nothing turned up. The leading theory was that it was a local dressing in a fur coat of some sort and terrorizing the orphaned daughters into selling the farm, presumably at a very discounted price to get it off their hands. The girls were reported to be unafraid, and their neighbors told the newspaper that they were ready to meet the prankster with firearms in hand. The day after the story was published, the tale of the North Stonington Ape Man would come to an end. Near the Minor Farm, a large ape dummy was found by law enforcement. The culprit was not an old man this time, but the young girls. When confronted by the police, Muriel admitted that the Ape Man story was a fabrication to scare off unwanted visitors from the farm. That was the end of the story, but all I've got to say is, oh how times have changed. If you say there's an ape man on your property nowadays, for every local you'll scare off, you're probably gonna have to deal with 10 Bigfoot hunters looking for the ultimate catch.